you're catching him. What grade are you going into? Sixth. Sixth grade. So you've uh, just finished up fifth grade. Yeah. Um, how old are you? Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Do you remember how old you were when you started? For, um, probably like five or six. Five or six? Um, whose idea was it to start the fiddle? Me. Really? Yeah. Why, why did you want to start the fiddle? Because a lot of big kids did it. Uh, the big kids were doing it? Yeah. Do you remember who those big kids were? Uh, Ben and Keaton. Oh. Uh, wait, did you know them before you started? Yeah. How did you know them? I just saw them walking around and playing violin a lot. Oh, at the park? Yeah. Oh, did you see Did you see them at the park, when, like at camps and things? Yeah. Okay. And when when you were watching them play, was it like, okay, I want to play like that? Or, yeah. Or, right? Or, or also probably you wanted to hang with them too? Yeah. Yeah. So was, what was it like when you started? Do you remember that far back? Uh, it was sort of fun, like how I got like these like little um, animals that I could stick on my violin and then. Oh yeah, I remember those. <laughs> and then I could like get the um, fiddle monkey which is like, now you're sort of not like a beginner anymore. Right, right. Oh yeah, so you remember those kind of early uh, incentives that we did. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when you were getting your first songs and like when you thought, oh, okay, I think I can actually play these songs now. Do you remember those like, uh, Boil them Cabbage? Yeah. And, yeah. So what, what has made this work, do you think? I mean, you're doing really well. I mean, what do you think uh, is the reason that you keep getting better? Well, I sort of like, I'm sort of forced to practice like a lot. <laughs> um, but also like once you get to sort of like a high level, you can like sort of like um, on Spotify, you can sort of want to like play your own songs and like after another thing and then you can like sort of learn them. Oh, okay. So you're sort of motivated by two ways. One, you want to get to a high level. Yeah. And you want to be able to play like Ben and Keaton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and two, because your mom makes you practice. Yeah. Okay. So what? what t tell me about practice. How often do you uh, do you guys practice? Probably like two times, three at max. Two a times week. a week. Yeah. Two really? times a week. Yeah. I bet it's more than that. Do you have it? Do you have like some kind of chart or something? Oh uh, yeah. We aim for four. Yeah. You aim and for sometimes four. Sometimes I do too. Three. And, and when, you, when you when you when yes, you settle when you set in for practice, how long do you practice for? Um, probably at least if I'm in the mood, uh, 15 minutes most. But usually I go for like 10. <laughs> <laughs> so do you find practicing to be hard, or do you, is it easy, or is it boring? Uh, what words would you use to describe? Well, practice? it's sort of. Mm -hmm. Like, it's sort of fun until, like, you get to, like, a spot where, like, you can't go farther until, like, you get help with it to, like, start on it. Right. So when you're playing the parts that you know already, then it's it's cool. Yeah. But when you hit when you hit problem points where you're going, I don't know how this works. Yeah. Then uh, that's when it gets frustrating. Yeah. I see. Um, and when you practice, do you practice on your own, or does your mom practice with you? Does your uh, sister practice with you? Uh, I usually practice alone, unless if my grandparents are here. Let me and Marnie sort of do a duet. Mm -hmm. What would you tell, say, uh, you said, how old were you when you started? Five or five six. Or six. What would you tell a five or six year old that was getting ready that saw a big kid like you? playing and, and thought, maybe I want to do this. Would you suggest, recommend it or would you say, oh, it's too hard? Uh, I would probably say, yeah, you should try it. Yeah. Um, and what if they hit a point, say, you know, maybe they're six months in or a year in or even two years in where they're saying, this is too hard. I want to quit. And they want to quit. What should they do? Well, um, they should, like, probably ask for more help. Like, if they're, like, or like they should like just try to find a different instrument that they really want to do. Oh, so you would you would suggest go ahead and just and moving on to something else? Yeah. Yeah. And what what do you think? That, how should their parents help them? Or should they? Uh, what what would you recommend for uh, parents of say six year olds that are just starting out? I would probably say like you should have if they've done music before, you should have a little patience with it and just sort of like try to help your kid right and does that mean like sitting down with them and uh, practicing or oh yeah probably right 
And as opposed, I mean, do, do you think that the little ones should be left to just practice on their own, or should they always have a parent? Definitely not. Um, probably with their parent. Yeah. Okay. And when you're when you look ahead, can you imagine you as a big guy, like, say, twenty year old Tetchin? You know, you're off in college. Uh. You know, that's where you know Keaton is off in college at this point. So, yeah. so you you know you'll, you're hot on his heels. Um, so can you kind of picture yourself as a kind of as an older guy? Yeah. Can do you think that your older guy when you look ahead do you think uh, you'll still be playing violin? Maybe because I'm probably might move on to other stuff, mm -hmm. but I probably will stick to it a long yeah. time. So would you describe it as fun? Yeah. Yeah.